I've always loved about Dave is that he is very positive and I feel like he brings a mature sensibility to all of his responses and I feel like he's just a supportive dude. His kindness, his love for his wife, and his goofiness. He's a good older brother. He, he loves me for all my faults that I have. His work ethic, his uh, motivation to do well for his family and his children is one of the things I look up to Dave about. The way he will travel to no ends of the earth to see his kids and grandkids. I am actually very envious of his uh, self-confidence. He's always had it. I've always looked up to that. And I wish I had just a portion of what Dave had. Uh, I love his drive, his stamina, um, and I love more than anything um, his faith in Christ and how he shares it with the family. Same favorite qualities. Well, uh, his faith that uh, I had kind of let my faith go for years, and uh, through his faith and the rest of the families, I brought myself back to the faith. I'm not a church goer to say, but I do believe in God, and I believe there is a God. Um, and then just his generosity. Uh, when I went down to Fort Benning to see my son in basic training, uh, they offered for me to stop over in Ottawa, Tennessee, and stay the night so it wasn't such a long trip, both there and back. And that was all. And I went down twice and did that twice. Yeah, that was awesome. I mean, you can talk to him about anything. He's honest. He's sincere. Um, he's just a good person. Dave, uh, we're thinking of you. We miss you. Can't wait to see you guys. And you're, uh, you get through this. You're going to get through this. You're going through a rough patch. Keep your chin up. You're a tough guy. I know you'll get through. Hey, Dave. Hi, we love you. I uh, just want to say, uh, hope you get better and look forward to seeing you on hopefully Christmas time. So get better soon. Hey, Dave. We're here in Effingham. We're just wrapping up after a nice weekend. We had a wonderful time with family. That's really what it's all about this weekend is just spending time with family. And we really missed you. And we're, we're all praying for you and hoping that you can fight this thing because we really want to spend time with you for, for a long time. But particularly in Mexico and again next year here. We already booked you, your room for next year when you know m mom sold the house and and so we don't have like that family home to go home to and um when i'm with you and and joel and john that's what feels like home and uh i'm looking forward to us all being together again um because that's my home uh not my my current home i mean not like with my husband but like the old times. Uh, one of my favorite memories of my brother Dave was when I was sitting on a recliner at home back in uh, St. Anne and he was jacking with me and so I had enough of his bullshit so I clocked him right in the mouth and then I took off running like a freaking rabbit. He chased me all around the house and finally mom's like leave him alone. Maybe he'll become a, be an, uh, Kona Iron Man. He'll go to qualify for the uh, Ironman in Kona and I'll go and part. I'm not running it with him, but I'll go watch and cheer him on when he's in Kona. We'll watch him cross the finish line. Yeah. David, listen, I want you to fight this thing like as like a wild animal, but I don't want you to be afraid. I want you to remember that whatever happens, you're nestled in the loving arms of your Savior. Be strong. You and I are the oldest, and so you gotta stick around and grow old with me so we can keep this family going. When this is all over with, that uh, we can sit down and truly, truly enjoy an ice cold bush light, and Dave will enjoy it also. <laughs> <laughs> we got this on. I'll be wearing it. People ask me, I'll be telling them. So, love you, brother. Love you, Dave.
You can do it. You can do it. 